Robin Camp's days as a federal judge are probably numbered. On Wednesday, a special investigative committee of Canada's Judicial Council ruled unanimously that Judge Camp should be removed from the bench for his handling of a very controversial sexual assault trial. Now, you may remember this trial unless you've been living under a rock. Judge Camp was the judge who told a 19-year-old girl who was a sexual assault complainant that she should have just kept her legs together. He asked her why she didn't just move her pelvis to stay out of the way of her alleged assailant. The issue here isn't just that Judge Camp showed remarkable disrespect for a young and vulnerable Indigenous girl living on the street, it's that he showed remarkable disdain for the rule of law in the Supreme Court of Canada. He poo-pooed the idea that somebody should have to give consent, saying that was contrary to the law of the birds and the bees. He said that Canada's rape shield law was unfair to the defense, and he took on the role of Grand Inquisitor from the bench, cross-examining the girl herself instead of leaving that to the defense, completely throwing out any idea of impartiality. So the question is, what was Robin Camp doing on the bench in the first place? He was only called to the bar in Alberta in 1999 and appointed to the bench in 2012, barely 10 years after he started practicing law here. And he had no experience in criminal law. All of his experience in Canada was in civil litigation. At his own investigation, he testified that he was completely ignorant of Canada's criminal law. This is a serious problem and not just because of Judge Camp. Our provincial court hears primarily criminal cases, and yet many, many of the judges appointed to the bench don't have any experience in criminal law. It's something we need to look at much more carefully, not just to prevent judges like Judge Camp from being on the bench, but to ensure that the rule of law is administered by people who understand it.